right. This next question, uh, I wasn't. I, I went back and forth as to whether or not I wanted to put it into the mailbag today mm-hmm. because it seems on the surface to be a very simple question because it's only you know Ooh, like I'm six gonna try words to do long. One word. Yeah, but answer. The other part of this question, this question really could kind of roll into a long answer. Okay, well, let's get into it. Let's get into it because we're wasting oh, time. Yeah. <laughs> let's hear it. Let's hear it. <laughs> With us, especially what it the way you to framed me, it. What it meant to me was there's still people out there um, who don't understand the distinguished the distinguished pieces between short sales foreclosures and equity sales. All right, let's sales, hear it. Let's hear it. About. Okay. So Layla, Layla very simply asked, "How do short sales work?" That's not a short it could, question. Uh, it could be. I know. That's what I'm saying. It's a Bottom short line, question, but it could have a very long answer. Underwater buyer or uh, underwater homeowner, underwater homeowner needs to sell their home. Okay. Okay. They will sell it for less than what they owe okay. on that property. At that point, the bank will really be the one that's making all the decisions, be the shot caller, and you're going to have to get the short sale approved, meaning what will the bank let this property go for? Okay, and that's but it's really still the, first. the the seller, the human being, mm-hmm. who has to initially accept they, or decline the offer. No, They're in front no, of the bank, I'm right? going to say this now. flat out: the the homeowners really have no control in this. Exactly, and they don't care. They're trying to get. They're out. just trying to get out, but, but they, they, have they to really sign the paperwork. They care, but they don't have an option to be in charge. They are not. Driving they're not the driving the vehicle. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then what makes it different from a foreclosure if they're the not driving the car? Foreclosure, that's a property. The, the, the property the is, already is already owned the by the bank. You're so well, they with the own, owner. But they own both. They own it the if it's a short sale. They own it if it's... Mm-hmm. So you don't have much leverage with them. It's an institution. An equity sale, you're dealing with an individual. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that's the easiest, always best solution. Right. And short sale... You are technically getting your documents from an individual, but all the decision making is yep. done by other entities. So they're like little puppets with the bank's yes. arm yes. up their back. Yes. yes. Well, and, and the, the bank and is the going. Biggest, there, and yeah. the biggest challenge with short sales is there's there's not a great line of communication right. between the real estate agent trying to sell the home and the bank that has to approve it. So it, I, and it's gotten a lot better than it used and to be. And only one much, person can but communicate to, with the bank. Yeah, but it so. used to be that it would take three to six months for the bank to look at the the offer and say yay or nay mm-hmm. well just remember on short sales it's not always that you're just dealing with one variable you're, you could be it, dealing with two banks there might be a second with a different yep. lender that they want you got to negotiate with them and the first lender and if there's property tax issues and yeah. if there's HOA issues, HOA well. issues, all of those things have to be negotiated, which is why short sales take so or, much longer. Or, and I had this nightmare happen, if the current servicer is being bought out by another and it transfers on you, now you have to get a brand new short sale approval. Oh. Yeah, I would go so far as to say if, if, uh, if you're going to make an offer on a short sale, find out if there's one lender or two. Mm-hmm. Right. If there's two lenders, don't even make an offer. Just, just don't stay do away. it. Yeah. Just don't do it because, well, there's new laws well, that there's well, a, there's you're going to eliminate that, quite a few properties. Yeah, but there's new laws that say that they, if the if the second lien holder it, it agrees to a short sale, that they're dead in the water. They can never mm-hmm. come back. They can never do anything. So the second lien holders are either holding these things hostage. Uh, they're asking for payoffs or exactly. asking for money outside yeah. of escrow. It's a <laughs> freaking nightmare. I how, mean, unless you're really a glutton for punishment. How do you know? By driving past a house, if it's a short sale of foreclosure, that's what your agent's or an for. Your agent has to. Yep. So you, don't, you can't tell by less. the signage. No. There's no. No, there's not like. A, and you can do a title a search to find out how many liens are on the property yeah. and right. decide before you even make an offer. If okay, it's worth so it. uh, with the num the numbers, and I'm going to ballpark this, okay, okay, because they they fluctuate, but approximately sixty something percent of properties for sale in L. A. County are distressed, distressed. Yes. either foreclosure or short sales, yes. short sales. Yes. Yeah. and out of those it leans more towards short sale as we sit here today than yes. foreclosure. Mm-hmm. So let's say 60% of those are short sales. Now we're talking about one third, mm-hmm. at least one third of all properties for sale being short sales. So it is absolutely a major piece of the market, right? So yeah. it's almost even You're not now, really going to be able to avoid it. You're going to be seeing properties you, that you know are what, short though, sales. The, the, and here's, here's, here's the one instance here's the one time that that i'm really okay with dual agency or or uh, some form of this yeah because the because there are listing agents that are 
absolutely amazing at processing short yeah. sales. They already have relationships with all of the lenders, and they know who to call. They can pick up the phone, and they can get these things slammed. So, I really want to drop names right now because I can know I, was, I know some really good ones. Housebusters. I was gonna just going to say. I mean, it's not a plug, but certain banks have this down. Wachovia. Wachovia has yeah. this down. Thirty days. It's brilliant. Yeah. On short person. sales. Yep. Yeah. They, I didn't they even got know Wachovia it, yeah, was okay. still around. Yeah. I thought they, they were are. bought by Wells Fargo. Mm. All of the products that were World Savings, Wachovia, right. Wells. All fall into that, yeah. right? And so they're good. They have one they point are. person. You call that person. They walk you through. You, you're not going into weird voicemails and texts. Why wouldn't everybody be that good? <laughs> I don't know. That's a, co- a really good question. They, they got it right. They got it right. They early. really do. Yep. If, yep. if there was a wow. preference, we'd always want. See, I told you to be the yeah. short sale lender. I told you it would be a, a, and a never, five word. And question. you know who's and really bad? Go five minutes. <laughs> Aqua, oh man. Uh-oh. Yeah, basically, if you look on title and the lien holder is no longer in business, then you might want to move on. <laughs>